Hello everyone and welcome back to Metal, Metal City. City! Almost. It's almost Metal City. We're getting there. But for now, we're checking out our cool new housing. And our Bridge Dojo. <laughs> it's the, the cult of the Bridge to Nowhere. That's what it is. That's, that's the thing now. That's the thing. See, they're overwatching the bridge. They got the bridge over here. You see? You see, they're like, yes, bridge. We are the bridgers. The, the nowhere bridgers. That's the thing. <laughs> so seemingly, as our episodes have gone so far, we're going to start this off with, uh, with the wet season. Because it's here. It's here and it's time. And uh, that time is... Of the montage variety. Ha <laughs> ha, I tricked ya. <laughs> uh, but seriously, it's montage time. And that's the end of the wet season, and we have a 56-day drought. We got this. I ain't worried, unless our population spikes because of the extra uh, birthing tank, and we end up losing tons of water, and then we have another short season, and then we have another long drought, and then we run out of water, and everyone dies. But that probably won't happen. All right. Things of import for this episode. This wall is basically done as far as it needs to be. Uh, we got a couple of uh, Octoc issues. I'm not sure which way the corner should face. Obviously, I think I don't know. Honestly, I'm... Well, we're going to delete this top level anyway. I might just turn them all facing forward. And then we don't have to make a decision. Because I like that option. <laughs> the other thing is we obviously have uh, water in here. And we should probably deal with that. I mean, obviously we should talk about what I want to do here. So this is the most direct path. So I think I kind of want to branch off two separate sets of pumps. One to the right and one to the left. Each one at different heights. You know what I mean? Or we just do a two-step system like we have in the middle tank. Where, like, all the tall ones are here, and all the low ones are there. I don't know. We'll have to uh, play around with that. 
All right, what we're actually going to do is right now, I'm going to pause. We're going to delete this and we're going to put it over, uh, I think, I think if we delete that road and that road. So district gate goes there, path goes there. This warehouse gets turned on for scrap metal. We're going to set this one to empty so that it gets emptied out and it goes into our main colony because right now it's connected to that instead of being connected to this district and that should work and now they're going to start filling this one up i uh, that was the plan for beginning i think it's cool it's good and now we got 700 extra scrap metal to work with sounds good to me right <laughs> and we still got i don't know what is that like two thirds of it left maybe more i don't know point is i mean I guess my estimation was a little off. It looks like there's more metal here than I thought. Uh, cause I can't count. Cause he, he didn't do the math. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. That should give us like three, four platforms if we're lucky. And that, that, I mean, that's awesome. You know? Feeling good. Last episode was the, the bad feels episode. This episode, feeling good. Let's talk about this breeding tank for a minute. If you look at our population, uh, it has not gone up at all. <laughs> but, I think that's just because we keep transferring beavers over to the scrap work camp. The very friendly work camp that beavers enjoy. It is not, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I think that's actually maintaining our population right now. But once that's done and closed, it'll it'll go back up a little bit. But I, I don't know, at that point, we might not need it anymore. I mean, we originally did it so we could do more smelters. But right now, all those extra people are just doing the scrap metal. But I don't know. I think I think we're melting most of that scrap metal away anyway. So it's okay. I think it bounced out is my point. So it was a good decision that is not affecting us negatively right now. We're getting pretty close. It's looking nice. So... We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna talk about plans, and then we're gonna do them, uh, while maybe spinning the camera around to keep it entertaining, because it's too static. <laughs> Who's nauseous now, suckers? <laughs> uh, we gotta get rid of these warehouses, and we gotta, we gotta raise up the log storage so that it's, you know, up here. Plus, we're gonna end up taking out these log storages, maybe? I don't know. Also, also, um, a few of you mentioned an idea, and I was, even in response to you guys, I was like, yeah, that kind of sounds cool, uh, but I'm an idiot. So, the idea was to put log storages down here, right? Like, because we can't fit a full, you know, water storage thing, and do, do log storages, like, right under here, bordering and stuff. But, for some reason, I don't know. I mean, I was thinking, like... Yeah, we could, and we could bring it all the way to the top instead of having platforms, right? But then, I don't know, I kind of just wasn't digging it, so I was like, well, I'll platform first, and then once we platform, I can just put them underneath, and then they'll kind of, like, rise up to the edge right in front of the platform, and that would be cool. But, uh, I don't know if you're seeing the problem here, but the, the there's columns, and I didn't, I wasn't thinking about the columns, because I'm a smart boy. <laughs> so, uh, so that plan's not going to work. Hello, Beaver. What you doing? El Nacho was bringing metal, I guess, to the last platform. Good job, El Nacho. All right, so we're going to delete these warehouses. They don't have any metal in them anyway because we're using all the metal. And I guess we're just going to take this to the top because I don't really know, like, what else we would do there. And the stairs are going to have to go all the way to the top too. But they're going to have an entrance here. So I guess we should pause... And figure this out. So I guess that's what I've come up with. Uh, it's not... I'll get this out of the way before, you know, several of you get on my case about it. <laughs> it's not the most efficient staircase. But I like how it looks. And it's cool. Okay? Sometimes that matters too. Plus, this way they have instant access from the trees going up, down, down and straight okay then i mean obviously i left it i left it flat with the platforms in case we want to put something on top i'm not sure if we're going to do that or what because maybe if not we could make this go up some more but we'll see 
And then I obviously I gave some stairs to get up to the platform and there's stairs over here to make it go up to the platform that'll be over there eventually. That's the thing. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. I'm uh I'm good with it. I think I'm good with it. I like being able to see down into the staircase. That's why I did it that way. I don't know why, but I like I like having the center open like that. I know it could be more efficient as a just a clear you know, run around, circly thing. But I, I don't know. I like, I like this. I like this. Okay, get off my case about it. And I like that it goes in different directions. Like it's not just a regular standard swirly staircase. It looks kind of like it was built in two different stages. And sometimes you gotta do that. You know. Hey, we got stranded beavers. We got who are the dummies? Ha <laughs> ha! Apakololo and Subara. What you, uh, what you guys doing down there? <laughs> How... How'd you even manage that? There's no stairs going to that level. So how... How'd you end up trapped inside? I don't understand. Like, this, these stairs are about to be built. But those were the only stairs going up to this level, which wasn't... Didn't even exist yet. Okay, you're safe now. You're safe now. You can leave. You can go. Hello? Hello, there you go. There you go. There yeah, there you go. Good job. Good job. You're so smart. So smart. Alright, I was gonna set these guys to empty, but this one already is empty. So we can delete that guy. That guy that guy's full. So we do need to empty that one. And then somehow I gotta empty the next one. I guess we could just lower the levels if I can do that. Uh Oh, there you go. There you go. That's full too. Okay, so we're gonna empty that. And uh, this is where our next platform is gonna go. We do gotta blow this down first though. I mean, it's gonna take a minute for that to empty. So it's, it's okay. If or when that can even be reached. <laughs> we can't really delete this right now because that's how they're getting... I guess we could just... Well, now that I deleted that, actually. We can... Uh, no, that's awkward. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's been a, it's been a minute since we had a we had a chat time because we need we need we need to chat we need to chat we got a perfect example of what I was talking about before about not being able to build more smelters. So we have around forty something haulers right now. The rest, I mean, we have I have seven, so I have seventy room for haulers, but those are low priority, so they're going elsewhere. The haulers are all bringing water right now from the from the pumps in the middle, which is they should be doing. But it's been like three or four days after I marked these log piles over here, and they are still haven't even been touched. And and the back um the back warehouse over here that has the the scrap metal in it that's also that's also still full because the haulers are just too busy. They're too busy. They're do they're carrying. They're carrying water from the pumps, they're carrying stuff to the smelters, from the smelters, to the mine, from the mine, and this always happens. This always happens when, when the tank has water in it, we basically are screwed. We're screwed as far as, like, work goes, because we can't, we can't manage to do anything extra, because the haulers are just doing that, so everything's just super slow. Plus, we have people in the pumps. We have beavers in the pumps doing all the pumping, so that's just extra workers. So basically, when we have water in the tank, we lose, like, half our workforce. <laughs> you know? So it's, it's a little tough. It's a little tough, because I don't, I don't, I don't have an answer for, for it, and it sucks. I don't know if that was chat time some more so 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 much as it was like sad sad depressive rant time that's all <laughs> that's that's all i got i'm going to temporarily turn this baby we're going to go up here and cuz i need i need i need a i mean we need a path down to there from this direction but I also need to blow this land down. All right, so that'll work once they build it, and then uh, we can continue blowing this down. Yeah, plans, plans. <laughs> so I just sent some beavers over here. Well, first of all, Benji Beaver doesn't need to be working in the just. Oh, we can't. Oh, I could pause it, I guess. Yeah, because we don't need uh, we don't need you in there, buddy. 
I'm gonna migrate. We got nine people over here. I just sent some over here. I'm gonna send them back because I need them in the main. Once once we're drained out of water, I'll I'll repopulate this work camp. But for now, it doesn't make sense because we need we need them working elsewhere. Also, the distribution post uh, requires employees. I mean, I had four in here. I just lowered it to two, but. Again, that's just another drain. That's kind of I was trying to avoid using it as a system to keep the supplies in that colony, the secondary district or whatever. But uh, I don't know, man. We're, we're feeling, feeling stretched thin right now. <laughs> I don't like it. But on the flip side, the, the wall, wall is, is done. done. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which means we can finally finish everything. <laughs> we're gonna waste a bunch of wood. I'm not. I'm not waiting for answers. We're just gonna. We're gonna take this whole thing, and I'm gonna individually click, clickety click, to make it all face the right way. Ignore that they are facing a different way below. That doesn't matter. It's you know, it's not there. We don't see it. It's not there. It's, that's, that's part of the Moro system. It's, we just ignore things we can't see, even if we know they're there. There we go. Now everything's facing the same way. It's almost like they can't be rotated. Perfect. All right, but to get over there, we actually have to get rid of these guys because I'm going to blow this down. Because I don't think, I mean, yeah, we're going to blow it down. Hopefully this is not a mistake. I don't think it is. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, both of these drop-off points are actually full. By the way, at some point I added books. I forgot to mention that. I gave them books to read, eat, because I think they eat the books. And that's fine. That's fine, just to give them something something besides... They could, they could camp, and they can read. They could read a book while camping. It's great. That sounds beautiful. It's like a, it's like a retreat, honestly. This is the, 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 the scrap metal retreat. That's what this is. It's a, uh, you know... It's a relaxing getaway destination. <laughs> so long as you like pick and scrap. My point about saying that is I'm going to pause the post so we get more workers back. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to wake up whoever was sleeping there. <laughs> you definitely got to put a fence there now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was necessary. All right, well, that means we can get rid of that. And we can do the paths, which will let them uh, do all the things over here, since they will now have access. Perfect. They can't reach this side, but we're putting we're putting the paths over there anyway, because it, it looks nice. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only real reason. Although we do have a path up here still for some reason. Don't need that. Nope, nope, nope. They also have no way to get up there now. Not that we really need to get up there, so, that's the end of that story, I guess. Although, technically, oh, we can do this. We can build a secret secret little uh, little pathway upward. Huh? Huh? That's kind of cool. Behind the housing. Yeah. Yeah, now there's a point to the strip of land over here. So it doesn't look weird. Victory. We could also fill this in, by the way. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm bringing it up because I'm thinking about it, so... I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> uh, we could fill this in and put something there. Maybe a temple? No, we can't put a temple. That has to be that's ground only. I don't know, something. We could do something up here. We could do some like uh terraces or something. I don't know. Or we could just leave it. Uh I mean I kinda like especially now, the water chimney like really looks like a water chimney. You know, before it was connected to the like the tank and stuff, but now it's just it's just standing straight up. Maybe we should make it even taller. Let's make it, like, super tall. How about that? <laughs> just, just cuz? That might be kind of cool. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. And the main thing, now that the bridges are gone over here, we can actually build, uh... Not build. We can blow this away. Also, we gotta blow that away, because that's there. But I'm not sure... I mean, I gotta let them finish building everything first. And then we could do that. Because once, once we destroy this wall, they actually can't really reach over here <laughs> so we gotta we gotta make sure everything's done in this area before before we do anything else because otherwise that's going to be a really annoying and expensive uh thing my beavers are going to work 
I love the flood. The flood of them just go, oh, look at, look at, they're combining into a, a line in the middle. That's great. Where are they even all going? I don't even, uh, just everywhere. Everywhere. I guess they're going, oh, they're picking, oh, man, look at them go. Look at them go with the logs. Yeah, haulers. I guess they got to stock everything for the morning. Somebody's missing work right now, and it's making the rest of them go slow. You see that? That was rude. What? Watch, 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 watch. Ah, they're all going faster now. I don't know. I don't know if it's super obvious. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Guys, we have, well, almost, aside from that one, we have a section completed. Metal City. Metal City. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now comes the easy part of figuring out what to do over here. <laughs> I'm just looking at the range. And guess what? We can't reach that corner over here. Yay. Well, there's always a solution. There's always a solution if you're trying hard enough. Which is to do that. And actually, you know what? That actually looks kind of cool. Do I want to do that over there too? Although it wouldn't it wouldn't fit the exact same way. I'm gonna have to destroy this fence over here for a minute. Uh we're gonna go up. I'm gonna do that. Calm down, Octoc. It'll be gone. I'm not leaving it this way. Calm down. Okay? But that will allow us to reach over there. So I think it'll be good. Because uh, it'll save them just enough steps to get over here. Plus, also, they're going over here. And so the range is going to extend it like a square around. It doesn't matter. It's going to work. It's going to work. That's all that matters. Trust. All right. Well, desperate times. Desperate measures, I guess. I don't know. We're going to remove that. And, uh, okay. Uh, that's as direct as we could possibly get. <laughs> so... We better be able to build that stupid corner out. We also got to start blowing this away. Just cleaning things up. Yeah. All right. That's the last one. So now we have room for a platform, assuming... No, see, that still has wood in it. Uh, so that hasn't been emptied. That one is empty. This one still has 12 logs. So it's almost there. It worked. <laughs> Hopefully it goes all the way. I don't really know how we built that to begin with, honestly, if we needed to be this close to it, because this is like super direct. Like we're going straight in over here and then straight down. The only other way it could be better is if I guess maybe if we went straight from here, but I really hope we don't have to do that. I'm pretty sure it will. Cross your fingers. All right, these guys are ready to be gone. <laughs> you take the long way around now. How, uh, why is this connected now? <laughs> like, I don't know. Why did we not have roads before, but now we got roads? We didn't change anything about the range, did we? I don't think we did. I mean, whatever. We can connect over here at least for now. But aside from now, we can do the last platform. Yeah. Do we have enough metal? We don't. We're close, though. Ooh. Oh, that's going to look real good. Almost there. We're so close. <laughs> I can taste it. All right. Doing a quick octoc check. Everything I think is facing the right way. And yes. Okay. All right. So we can, we can get rid of these stairs again. Just for reference. Okay, so this, this goes far. This goes all the way to there. Okay, okay, good. If we need to know that for the future, that then we, we know it now. <laughs> Alright, so we can get rid of that, and we can rebuild our Lidos. There we go. As good as new. <laughs> Ooh, the trees and bushes are growing in, and it's looking real pretty. <laughs> I'm a fan. I especially like this uh, little tree break thing. It's nice. Little benches. It's got to be a nice bench. M-T-O-D. Middle tank officially dry. All right. With the tank dry, 
We can turn the post back on. And we can send some people over to, uh, to the district finally. Again. Boom. Oakley dokley. Here comes a big one. Uh, boy. Okay. We water flood. This is just, this is all going to be gone. By the time we're even done building, there's a nice, nice whirlpool happening over here. Uh, by the time we're done building pumps, this water's going to be evaporated. It is what it is, man. And we got to waste some metal, actually. Because we need to blow this away. And there's honestly not even a way to do this without the Moro system. The Moro system. Bridges and things and stuff. Without this, you'd have to build uh, platforms, like, on the side. Like, all the way up. Just to be able to plant stuff that way. You know? You're welcome. You're welcome. That is gonna waste 40 metal. So it's, it's not great. It's not great, but, uh, it'll be a lot faster than doing this three times or twice with smaller bridges. So, honestly, like, whatever. Whatever. Just wanna get this done. And, uh, while that's building, we gotta talk about this area a little bit. Mostly cause, uh... I don't know. I gotta... I gotta re-transplant this whole thing... ...over here. But obviously we gotta do... I wanna do, like, all the engines. I wanna do all the engines here for the entire colony. So we're gonna need, like, 10, 11 engines. Yeah, I don't know. We need a layout. Somebody give me a layout. Figure it out. <laughs> it can't happen this episode because we're going to need a bunch of metal to rebuild all that. And we don't have it right now. Uh, but I don't know. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. Ooh, look at the bridgey system work. Nice. <laughs> Let's do some splodies. All right. And once that's cleared up, we can actually get building back here, huh? God, that looks ridiculous. That looks so big. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that is, like, the size that it needs to be, I guess. But somehow when it's, like, long like this, it doesn't feel... I mean, I don't know. There's there's a chance that this is too big. If it's too big, we might need to, like, close off some, some, some walls here. Of course, the risk there is always that, like, we end up filling it up and overflowing. But I don't honestly think that's possible. We'd have to get, like, multiple nine-day wet seasons and then multiple 30 day droughts for that to happen and even then i think we'd still be able to pump most of it and most of it would still get used i don't think it would ever like well i don't know never say never last one sort of not quite because we still got to do this stump <laughs> but we're almost there boom <laughs> Biggest explosion of the day. Oh, baby, does that look good. Hmm. <laughs> like to take a bite out of that, huh? All right. Now, the work begins. <laughs> My work day. My work day begins. By trying to figure this out. I don't know if I'm going to make it into a time lapse or not, but... We'll see. So is this the thing? Is this the thing that we do? That's a lot of pumps per level. And then the next one could just be like right here, you know, just like we have it in the other tank. And that would be it. Although I think it would need to be one space out because it needs six steps down. How are we feeling about that? That would be kind of cool. Just two rows, two giant rows like that. I'm not sure this would reach all the way to the left though. Now that I'm looking at it. So it's possible we would need to extend this forward this way and put some pumps on the side like over here instead of going all the way to the side. So then we'd have like a long wing and then this would be like a like a little T. But we wouldn't know that until we actually build it. Well, you got 29 days for this to construct. So let's try it. And you know what? Worst comes to worst, we just delete the whole thing and start over. <laughs> All right, so eventually the bridge is going to go like this. But right now it can't because this has to be built out before we can put the bridge there. So instead, we're putting the bridge over here like that. 
Okay, so don't don't get angry that this looks terrible right now. That's not how it's going to be. They just need to be able to build the platforms first before they can put the bridge on there. It's a little bit backwards, but that's how it is. Although, actually, you know what? No, we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to put that back. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to waste a bit of material. I'm going to put those there temporarily. And this over here, they're not going to stay there. But it'll actually allow this to be built way faster. Because they'll start building it from the two sides rather than just trying to build it out from the middle here. And then eventually, they'll make it to the bridge. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So if, that, if that's high priority, they should build it out before the sides. So at least we got that going for us. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then we got to figure out, like, this doesn't really, I guess those don't need to be there the same way because we need stairs all right i'm pretty sure they're not they're not gonna be able to reach all the way over here but we're still gonna put it there just to see so that's fine we're gonna have them build this out and we're gonna see where things can reach yeah okay uh insanely long time lapse time <laughs> this might take forever this might take all 30 days we'll see <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know why I thought that this would almost get done, but we got about a day left to go before the wet season, so this is 30 days worth of building, and they don't even have the pumps up. <laughs> I mean, not that it would do anything for us, the pumps would only be useful if this filled up all the way. So, that's probably not happening, but... Is looking pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess. What do we think so far, huh? What do we think? Uh, yeah, man, I don't, uh, I got nothing negative to say about this. It's neat. It's looking cool. But aside from that, I love you guys. I'm Moro. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll catch you guys next time.